Greetings everyone, it's Gryfi here. We're looking at a work in progress ship. It's going to be the new tier 8 German battleship, the Anhalt. And you may be asking yourself, why do we need another tier 8 German battleship? We've already got things like the Bismarck, the Tirpitz, the Odin, the Brandenburg, and the latest in the family, the Zeiten. So we already have several German battleships. What will a new premium battleship give us, you say? Well, the unique feature for this vessel is no longer is it um, four turrets, it's got five turrets, 15 barrels. 15 barrels on the tier 8 German battleship. They are 350 millimeter barrels. And we'll go through these stats a little bit later. Stock reload is 30 seconds. You need hand cranks to rotate them at 45 seconds. Uh, maximum dispersion at max range of 21k is 271 meters. That's pretty underwhelming. That's pretty bad. Um, dispersion in my opinion we're looking at the secondary guns here reload time of 3.4 seconds mac range 7.6 i don't know 105 pens up to 26 millimeters of armor we'll get through all those 25s but nothing at the t10 at 27 or above the 150s will do it they pin up to 38 millimeters as you can see a 31 or oh, sorry 21 kilometers range survivability she's actually got pretty good hit points for a tier 8 just under 70 thousand hit points a bit of terrible torpedo protection at 20 percent armor layout well this, this gets a little bit interesting she has an icebreaker 200 millimeter icebreaker 32 millimeter bow so she's actually really well armored um, again, a sit flat broadside, and you're still going to feel that. And she's got a really nice kiting um, end armor as well. So she's, in my opinion, she's a, she's a pretty well armored boat. You can actually sit in there and um, do a little bit of a damage. Torpedoes. She has a four by one 700 millimeter torpedoes. Six Ks at 54 knots. A bit on the slow side. And um, trying to see where these uh, torpedoes are. I wonder if they are underwater, where is naval base? Let's look at these torpedoes again. Is that it there? Yes. Yes, looks like we have underwater torpedoes at fore and aft. Interesting, interesting that they're bringing these out in the vessels now, but it, it does make it an interesting design feature of that. Um, airstrike, oh, yeah, submarines. Um, AA, four to six puffs, 1400. Continuous damage is not really good for tier 8. Maneuverability, 25 notes. That is slow. That is really, really slow. And I'm um, not, not even um, hiding it. Turning at radius is pretty bad as well for this tier. Rudder shift time, 16 seconds. Concealment stock is 15 Ks. Now let, let's actually equip this quickly. So I'll, I'll do my stock standard uh, German battleship. So protect the guns, DCP. I'll actually put aiming system, because you've got 15 barrels propulsion for me. Always that bit of acceleration and concealment. So let's let's look at some of that key factors. Max range now dispersion's gone down from 271 to 252. Still pretty wonky. You can't do a secondary build. I think I should look at this. She comes stock with four DCPs and a spotter plane. So I'd keep the spotter plane because fighters will do nothing. She does have a standard DCP, sorry, a repair party, not DCP. She has a four repair parties. And let's see where her concealment goes. Pre-captain 13.5. Let's do a bit of a captain build. What does that do for greased guns? And of course. Alright, so we did grease the gears and what and we've also then applied a bit of secondary range. Um, basics of survivability, concealment expert, fire prevention, you've got four heals, so I don't think you need a fifth, I've done vigilance because you've only got 20% torpedo reduction, I've done a bit of brisk because you're slow in a general, and now let us have a look at 
a bit of these stats. Now I've, I've brought up the stats of all the German battleships so in general the Anhalt in comparison she is the heaviest by tonnage and the longest by length not the by beam um, she has the slowest amount of speed at 25 knots um, detect by sea is that it's actually on par with most of the German battleships. She is the slowest turning radius and the lowest torpedo protection. Same fire resistance. Main battery. This now this is where it comes in inter interesting. She has 15 bar um, barrels, so the AP DPM is higher than any other of the tier eight. Same with the HE DPM. You can see these salvos here. Range is a pretty good range at 21.1. Reloads the slowest though at 30 seconds. Fly time 6.8 to 6.9. Now this is using uh, shiptool.st um, so she seems to have the longest flight time so from that I presume she will have a little bit more floatier shells AP AP looks good 600 kilogram weight 350 millimeter guns um, damage is at 10,500 per AP shell initial speed it's it's pretty on par as you can see here impact angles are pretty good um, penetrations the lowest the lowest out of all the tier 8 German battle battleships um, she only overmatches 24 millimeters as well like the turbots does 26 Odin 21 uh, Brandenburg but they're 305s the 26 of the 380 so 24 millimeters the penetration e even the 305s um, of the Odin and the Brandenburg um, do a greater penetration of 384 so 324 on the Anhalt be aware of uh, that um, HE shells in comparison um, fire chance is 27 which is on par penetrations are, again lower than any of the others um, secondaries, this is what I really wanted to bring in. She's got 8x1 150s, 6x2 105s. Similar to, say, nearly a turpid, so I have 6x2, so that's 12v8. But the secondary DPM on the Anhalt, as you can see, is the lowest. The lowest out of all the t German BBs. Just on that alone, that pure data, I would nearly be saying don't make her a secondary a value or secondary um, spec boat. Hitting that DPM is the lowest as well. Stat wise, she looks pretty similar, so, but stats or raw data don't lie. She's got the lo lowest shells per minute at 271. Um, fires per minute seem on par or just right in the middle like Brandenburg at 25.6 is the best of the German tier 8 battleships so you've got to recall these values are subject to change so don't take them at final word of value that this is what it's going to be at but for now the Anhalt 15 barrels it is looking like it could be a bit of a monster at tier 8 just for its guns. Secondary wise, she doesn't on paper look as strong as her other tier 8 cousins. But um, it, time will tell. Uh, it is a work in progress and anything can happen. Thank you for taking this a quick look at the tier 8 German battleship, the Arnhalt.